We're going to talk bunting in general. It's the sacrifice bunt. First thing, real quick. Whenever you hit batting practice live, coaches throw into you, whatever, take two bunts, lay two bunts down. Not only is it a good little warm up tool for your eyes to track the ball into the hitting zone, but again, we're practicing bunting. Okay, the fundamentals of the bunt. Don't be late squaring around. You're not fooling anybody in a sacrifice situation. 99% of the time, you're not fooling anybody. Let Get set early. When the pitcher comes set, feel free to square around. By squaring around, okay? If you're in your stance and all you do is just turn your feet here, you're in a good position to bunt right here. That's all it took. So I went from here to here. Some people might teach this at a younger age, okay, to square fully around. I don't necessarily like that. I don't like exposing my whole front of my body to a pitch. Um, so uh, get set in this position here and just, just square around. Now, you'll notice I'm covering the top of the zone to the bottom of the zone with my legs, okay? Now you'll notice I'm covering the out, outer half of the plate to the inner of the half of the plate with my hands. Now you'll notice I'm controlling the angle of the bat with my right hand, my bottom hand, okay? Third base, first base. Get the barrel of the bat out in front of the plate. Get set in your stance. A lot of hitters, when it's a known bunt situation, again, we're not fooling anybody, so take advantage of that. Maybe scoot a little closer to the plate, maybe move up on the plate. The further out in front of the plate we make contact, the easier it is to keep the ball in play on an angle. Use your legs to control going up to the top of the strike zone to the bottom of the strike zone. Don't stab. A lot of young hitters, you even see it at the highest levels. They stab. They take a jab at the ball. It's hard to bunt like that and when you do actually hit it, you're going to hit it too hard. We want to deaden the ball. Let the ball hit the barrel of the bat. I teach young hitters right about bunting I tell them hey act like you got a little baseball glove on the barrel of your bat and all you're doing is trying to catch that ball on the barrel of the bat you're just trying to catch that ball on the barrel of the bat with your glove a little imaginary glove on the barrel and you're just catching the baseball on the barrel of the bat so how do we reach different levels, high, low, with our legs? How do we reach in, out, with our hands, here, keeping the barrel of the bat out in front of the plate and controlling the angle, which is very important, with our bottom hand. 